All right, we're here again with another monthly microphone Monday. And uh, if you haven't seen one yet, uh, the whole idea behind this is um, essentially uh, a one Monday out of every month. Uh, the idea is to look at uh, a cheap microphone that's $20 or less and uh, just see if you can get decent audio out of it. Because, you know, sometimes you have a, I don't know, a setup where it just the internal mic built in whatever or just current thing you have for a headset a phone a camera what have you just the mic isn't that good and you're looking for something that's maybe a little better um that isn't gonna you know isn't gonna break the bank so to speak um so that that's the that's the thought and it's just fun to test it out and generally what i do for tests um are essentially four tests we're going to be testing normal talking like i just you, know, you would for speaking kind of stuff I'll do a test where I do some audio enhancements that I would typically do uh, through Audacity anyway. It's all recorded through Audacity. Um, and then uh, do a test to see how it sounds with music and also uh, an ASMR test to see if it can handle some quieter, softer sounds if it's any good for that kind of thing. So you have sort of a range of stuff you could use it for, you know, if it's good for... For, you know, voiceover standard stuff, is it good for quiet or loud or dynamic things? Is that bass? Is it good for streaming? That kind of stuff. You get sort of a some quick idea, maybe, of the quality of the microphone. And today, uh, this microphone is uh, the Bengu RGB Luminescent Microphone from, uh, I said it was Bengu, I said that, right? The, the name is Bengu for the company. It's $14. Um, so, let's... Let's open the box, because that's important to look at, I guess. All right, let's check out the box a little bit here. I mean, that's where I got the name. So, uh, yes, it's Ben Goo. So, it's not a whole lot to look at for packaging. It's kind of a small box. What we got over here? The uh, RGB light switch. Simply plug and play to work. One button on off, flexible gooseneck, all right, that kind of thing. So uh, nothing really interesting on the outside. Is this taped up? Did I not prep this? I think it's, it's going to open uh, somehow. Pull something out of something and it'll open. Here we go. This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be based on the store page thing. What's this? Sixth anniversary celebration. Ben Goo. That was back when I got this, probably. That was like a couple years ago. Wow, look at this. Congratulations. Celebrate with six months that you can uh, enter the website. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I could look at that. If that's even still valid, I'll have already used that by the time this comes out, I hope. Okay. I'll keep that in the shot. Oh. This, uh, oh, oh, this little, uh, E. It's looking a little dented, but uh, um, it's just the whole rest of it is this. Okay, that's connected to it. Okay, and then down here, before we go into the thing itself, quick, what do we, what do we, what do we have? This. Uh, so it could be instruction. It's an instruction roadmap thing. This is how you, uh, horn, horn size is one of the, okay. Well, I mean, that doesn't help me a lot. This, maybe it was important to somebody, but, um, yeah, just plug it in, right? Okay, well, should be easy enough. This, uh, un road. That's what people say, they say unload. And, uh, uh, I'm a little close for this. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it, uh, it's, it's a microphone looking thing with Bengu. Um, let me put this on here. I can even get this. I put my shot too close because the box was so small. Is this even going to fit on here now that it's all like warped? Come on. 
is exciting. I'm ruining the excitement by not being able to get this over the... Oh, you suck. Is this even the right size? It feels incredibly small. That's what she said. Ha uh, ha got him. Okay, there we go. Do not have unprotected. Speak. Yeah, sound there. Protect it from all that wind. And the USB connection, so it's just USB. So, that should be good enough. We'll see what it's like uh, in testing, I guess, because that's what it looks like right now. It's, it's pretty small, but, you know, uh, we'll see what it is. It's not, it's not the size that counts. It's, it's what you do with it that, um, whatever. All right, so this is more of a more of a basic audio test kind of thing going on, I guess, because I'm, uh, just kind of, I'm just kind of here. And, uh, yeah, um, just seeing what it sounds like. Uh, you can kind of see the little, like, uh, glowing down here. There's a switch to turn that on or off. Um, you can switch that off, and it's off. Or you switch it back on. And there's a little volume knob thing. Uh, I don't know if it adjusts your audio as you're doing this or what. Um, so I think I had it, like, yeah, I think it's getting quieter that way until it's off. Or this way, this is the loudest it can go is up here. Uh, and it records one channel at 48 kilohertz was the setting. Uh, so I, I did go into settings and turn off all the audio enhancements so it wouldn't mess that up. And uh, we'll just see what it sounds like uh, raw. Uh, here's another sound test just so you can, um, I guess, kind of set it up here so you can see the RGB a little better. Um, it just has that pattern. There's no selecting that or anything. Um, and this is probably more what it would be like, you know, um, if you're like right up on it. Um, this is me doing audio enhancements in Audacity of uh, bass and treble. Uh, bass is knocked up to three, treble is knocked up one. Those are uh, a standard thing I do on most of my things. Then I also do, I also do a uh, I'll cut out the blank noise or whatever the uh, noise reduction tool, and then I'll also do uh, a compressor on it so it's more there's less loud and soft kind of things. So we'll see what that does to my voice with this microphone. Um, and this is, you know, like, if it gets further away, it's kind of more what it sounds like. Um, you might not be necessarily right up on your microphone. It might be some different directions that you're going around where, you know, it's probably going to sound different from there. But uh, if you're right up here, this is where um, you're probably going to get the best audio for voiceovers where you might want to use more editing anyway. So I guess this is where you, you might want it if you're going to do something like this anyways. Here's a demo from the keyboard for a music uh, test. see a little bit of uh, how it does with other sounds I guess and soft speaking um.
So my uh, overall final thoughts here on the uh, Bengu RGB luminescent uh, microphone. I don't know. It, it's okay. Um, it's it's noticeably like not quite as good as some of the other ones I've looked at. Um, and I think if I, look, if I looked at this first, I'd be like, oh, that's pretty good for the price. You know, it's fairly cheap. But um, the thing is, it's very quiet. And you'll notice with the audio enhancement uh, clip, it's way louder. That's because um, the compressor was trying to compensate for how quiet the thing was and make the whole thing louder. Um, and the, the background noise on this thing, there's a lot of background static going on. Like, it's not just, like, air sound. It's, like, a weird, like, kind of like a static, like, this thing is outputting that sound. Um, so that's... Uh, not great. You can kind of get rid of it. Like it's still even kind of there, but because of how much it has to boost the audio, it kind of comes back in the um, in the enhanced audio thing you, you probably heard there. So it's it's not um, it's not great. Uh, it's just okay. It's usable, but I feel like depending on what you already have for a microphone, at least it's easier to kind of get close to it. If you are right up on it, it sounds decent. I think if you get a little further away, um, it, you do like you can't be very far away before it like it drops a lot in the 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 um how much it's picking up and while it's you know pretty good for all around it it's still like you know it's hard to basically it's, it's hard to hear things with this mic unless you're really right up on it and even then you have to boost it so it's a very very quiet microphone the lights serve whatever um they don't look particularly amazing or anything they're a neat little touch but um also the thing's really really light and so like depending on how you have it angled and stuff like it does lots of different angles fine that's cool but like it's a little wobbly because it's the base is so light compared to like the rest of it like this part is actually probably heavier than the actual base is because the base is plastic and this is some kind of like some kind of metal i think or something that's like heavier so they need to probably put a weight in the base to make it heavier um or you need to put something on the bottom to make it stickier i guess so it'll stay down something like that but it's a really good length cord um a little, little not the best quality you know cord it'll get it'll hold its shape in ways you don't want but I don't want to start talking to this like it's on, but like, uh, yeah, I think, I think overall I would say is like, it does have a nice quality of like, if, if you're into that quality, like I could see maybe doing an ASMR video with this, if you like the kind of quality this gives, because there is a weird, like, it's not super high quality in the sound, there is that background noise, the white noise happening, and it's like, something about the way it's done is that it kind of feels almost a little electronic, it sounds like you're on a microphone you, you are you're very aware that there's a microphone involved whereas obviously really good microphones you're not even really thinking about it you're like this person's just talking right uh so um if you're into that kind of quality you know it's not bad but uh, the ultimate uh the ultimate uh, bullshit this sucks thing about this whole series so far is that i waited so long to do these that uh, this one now says it's currently unavailable on amazon also so um uh, essentially, if you're looking for stuff that I've been looking at on the, here, you have to look for things that look like them or other things from the company, maybe. That'll be roughly the same. So hopefully it's still interesting anyway, but, um, I don't know. There'll be more. Just, I don't know. If you want to leave something in the comments, I mean, you're free to. I, I have it set so people can do that, but I don't expect you to at this point, because what is there to say about this? I don't know, I'll see you next month.